Hello, welcome to the Plumby framework demonstration where we wish to build the entire recruitment portal using the framework and also we will be demonstrating how it can be customized, how it can be improvised and how it can have various other object relations. Like uh, in a typical vacancy portal you have the vacancy requisition coming up and it will undergo some workflow where based on the type of vacancy if it is an existing vacancy or if it's a new vacancy the required decision may be made by the approval authority and then approve the vacancy and once the vacancies are published there are uh, a standard uh, candidate masters which we have where the, the various resumes are being entered there will be a short uh, listing process and then we communicate to the candidates, conduct the interviews and have a checklist. The objective of this uh, demonstration is to see how various component, existing components of Plum B can be used to build the codeless application. So let's get into the vacancy requisition. So we'll be building the vacancy requisition as to how this can be done. So this is the Plumby framework where uh, we already have a lot of modules uh, uh, typical to any business operation but we will not be discussing those modules now. We will be building our own new module <coughs> using the build the concept. So let's call this as a demo vacancy okay so we are creating the basically the vacancy object where the, the vacancies can be registered by the users which undergo the workflow so coming to the object which we have just created as demo vacancy you will also see the form getting generated and machine is also trying to understand what you are trying to build the admin can uh, default access the demo vacancy form or object and which is under a dev module. Here we have a lot of uh, ready-made groups like address branch or sometimes you can create your own custom fields or there may be sometimes standard custom standard fields available which could be used. So we will be demonstrating all the three. So let's now take uh, let's take uh, vacancy number which uh, we may be auto generated or maybe we can make it uh, mandatory and once we do that you will see that application has created the vacancy number which is also made mandatory similarly we'll have vacancy name which is also default text box and is mandatory and uh, maybe the uh, the department designation CTC etc. So let's uh, go back to the department and designation we have some standard data objects available say for example we were talking about the department so I just say I want the department the moment I say the department the ready-made department object has come which could be later on modified or improvised and things like that Similarly, we also wanted to which designation you wanted the offer to be made. So we have the designation here and you will see the designation object has come. While this is a drop down, this you will notice is, a, is something like a picker. You pick a consultant or CTO or whatever it is. So having uh, had this, we may need a reason why you need okay, vacancy we can see reason and this may be existing uh, replacement to existing replacement to existing post or it could be a new post or it could be additional requirement 
However, because it's a drop down, I wish to have a combo as a control. So I defined the combo reason, vacancy reason, I said go ahead. So now you will see the vacancy reason also has come here. So we have used some custom fields which you have noticed, some standard fields which have come and maybe we also wish to have uh, the place where the vacancy is which is a city state or something like that. Maybe we can say the address where it would be required. So the moment we said address, the contact things have come. Maybe we don't need address all this. City state is enough. So I'm just trying to uh, remove these uh, objects from here. Okay. I'm just pushing them off from my contact and you will notice they got pushed off. Okay. So basically we have the general and the contact. The admin comes only when I'm in design mode and it's only meant for admin and not for normal user. So here this is another type of control. Once I pick any of the district, it picks up the district, the city, state and country. These are auto filling up. Similarly like the designation what we have. So let's also have um, you know the job description. which I wish to have it as a little longer thing as a para and instead of a text box maybe I would like to have a text area and uh, uh, let's keep it in whatever the state it is and you will notice that the explanation has also come so let's also have the final field the CTC which I wish to have it as an integer I took it as an integer and I'm taking a a text box for that. So with this roughly you will notice uh, the entire uh, job description is ready but we forgot to mention the education qualifications and the experience that is required for which similar to what we have shown we also have such things as the experience that is the experience required. You will notice it is years of experience. Maybe we said a year experience and we forgot to write the customization experience years. So I can say years. So I just changed it right in front of you and you will see you will see it is experience year. Let us also make that as a mandatory because it's a part of the selection and also the education what we wanted. So let's pick the education which is um, which is uh, required for this. So the education. So you'll notice the education also schooling, graduation, or we can have anything. Let's make that as also a mandatory. So now that our form is ready, we can uh, actually let us see how the user would see this and how what are the implications. Maybe let us also give a facility of attaching some multiple documents to this you know like that was the moment we'll say we'll have attachments and you will see the machine's understanding of this model where it will say that it has attachments you can see it already has attachments sometimes for that particular task there may be a particular um, job that is vacancy posted there may be a lot of tasks which may be required you know you can have and it may have some child objects and sometimes this form, this vacancy may have to be forwarded to one of the candidate and try to get his feedback also. So with this uh, limited thing, let us try to see how we can take it up in the real life. I am just and also as we have seen the attachment is also given. So let us uh, try to see where it got posted. So now that we created that object, so if you notice the object gets generally created in the dev mode and it is called the demo vacancy. Remember the vacancy number, name, department, designation. Maybe let us um, rename this uh, form properly instead of demo vacancy. We wish to name it as uh, a vacancy 
ok so vacancy requisition i made this and um, you will see that this gets updated let's create our first vacancy maybe let's say now we have the vacancy number the choice is whether we create it manually or make it as an auto sequencer so let's try to make this as an auto sequencer so you will notice even during the process of our actual development uh, an admin will be able to do further improving of the form so first of all i said make this as a read only control and i'm trying to tell the machine please give it as a sequencer and uh, see sequency sequencer prefix i'm trying to fix it up okay so once i do this you will notice when i say add you will see vac 002003 they are all coming up one by one so vacancy name i want a finance executive for my accounts department the designation is um, executive or finance manager okay vacancy reason is uh, it is a it's an it's a replacement to existing or it could be a new post let us take this as a new post and we need to have the job description so let's uh, post the job description which you can read it here this is uh, the content and let's attach this uh, we have inserted it now it says the experience that is required is also mandatory minimum we expect maybe five years of experience uh, with um, minimum of graduation so you will notice even the validations with reference to the mandatories are also done by the machine so we have inserted our first record and you will see my record getting ready and now i have to attach the resume which i forgot maybe i can just say job requirements okay i'm just posting the same explanation for reference okay i'm attaching a doc file and uh, let me attach the applicable file which i have on my desktop account executive or finance manager whatever it is so i have attached the document you will notice and i can open the entire document read it so let us just review what is that we have done we have created the form and uh, we gave facility that it can have tasks so i can say now I'm having the task icon also coming up here and I can forward the form. Maybe I have attachments which you have seen that we have created here. So now in the second phase, let us uh, create a workflow, uh, you know, which we have been referring here. If you remember this approval workflow uh, based on if it is a existing uh, vacancy, or it's a new vacancy based on that the approval processes may vary so we have now created one record let's add some more and then see let's take it up in the next tutorial thank you very much